So Think OF, we have recently gone into a, a new area of activity where we have launched our SXM product, which is best described as an autonomous receiver to be deployed in the field at ground level where mobile phones are actually being used that can monitor the activity on free-to-air information. So we are looking at what all the operators are doing um, with their spectrum in 4G and 5G initially, but that will expand. And we are deploying networks across the world or nodes across the world to be able to provide the local regulator or the mobile operators with competitive information on what the spectrum is doing and what it's being used for. Yeah. Now, we have a number of bits of application or different data that we can collect ranging from standard network information to RSRP, RSRQ information to signal noise ratios and also we can take that data, do more detailed analysis and start to look at possibly spectrum squatting where, the, where operators are using the network and using their licenses but maybe not as they should um, and we can highlight that and we can flag that up to the relevant people. Okay. And we do that under two terms. We can either do it as a, a purchase and license service for a period of time, or we can do it as a full OPEX where we can deploy the nodes and provide the data using the cloud. Yeah, yeah. Now I can understand this is interesting for the, 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 the bigger providers of the networks. and yeah. the, But also, I understand you also have quite a lot of interest from the regulators, the government, actually checking who is doing what on the right way in the, in the, in the, in the radio bands? Yeah. Yeah. A lot of regulators use drive test. So drive testing happens if they're looking once a month and if a transmission happens to be occurring when the vehicle is driving past, it will pick that up. But the odds on that are very slow, very low, very slim. With the Think RF product, we have them deployed 24-7. Network across the city, we're monitoring that and we have a significantly higher probability of intercept of collecting that that data. Yes. What is your what is your strategy? How do you see the rollout of your products and what, what are you hoping to achieve in a relatively well, short term? Yeah, we are we're very customer driven. We we are we've taken our first step to look at 4G and 5G um, and working with a number of key customers and rolling out networks in key areas, obviously our home country in Canada. We're also currently working in South Korea, in the UK, we have systems in Spain, we have them in South America, and we are rolling those out as version one. We are listening to our customers, and as customers ask for more capability, we are updating the nodes to give a bit of the ability eventually to do interference detection, to do geolocation of that interference detection. So it's very much listening to what our customers want. And then moving forward. And moving forward based on that. It's, it's no good just saying, oh, we, need, we know or well, we think we want to do this. We listen yeah. to our customers. Yeah. All right, okay. Thank you very much for this uh, quick chat okay. on ThinkRF. Thank Thanks very much. Yes, thanks.